Hello. I am working on my new control box for my DC American Flyer loop. This is going to include a amp meter and voltmeter as well as a directional control and it's going to be housed in this box. So this will be the directional control and then I will also have amperage and voltage but as you can see the voltage meter is not there it is here so I had to do a minor repair to this voltmeter in case you've never seen the inside of an analog voltage meter this is the scale card so this tells you this meter measures 0 to 15 volts DC this is the meter glass I actually this will allow me to clean the glass so that's kind of nice and this is the housing and then this is the mechanism right here now this is very fragile so I'm going to be very careful with it I wasn't when I was moving it over here to put it together and so I dropped the assembly and it dislodged it so the meter wouldn't move now this is a very very fine wire in here this is like a hair thin wire and then there is this metal piece here get a pointer it's not a very good pointer this uh, odd shaped metal piece is actually a magnetic it's a very weak magnet so what that does is it holds this needle at the zero point so you can't hardly tell that it's magnetized I had to disassemble this and the old adhesives disintegrated so this entire thing kind of fell apart um, but what happened was that this middle tab here holds the meter it sits in a needle point bearing if you can see that right there there's a needle point on each side of that and that is what holds the meter um, it allows it to float in the coil and then when you apply voltage it creates a stronger magnetic field turning it the other direction so I'm going to do that now I'm going to hook it up to my DC transformer and we can see it in operation and that is why because this device is so fragile this hair wire came detached from this post so now I'm going to solder that back together and then I'll do a demonstration and get this put back together before it falls apart more all right I have that very fine wire resoldered and now you can see how this operates and if I go the other direction this this voltmeter only goes one way so it'll pick it the opposite way and zero and then it goes up to about 15 volts which is typically the max for a model train anyway so this will work out just fine now I'm going to see if I can get this put back together without destroying it and then we will operate, or uh, I will be putting it into my control box and wiring that up. All right, my voltmeter is put back together. And just to verify that it indeed does still work, works perfectly good. Alright, thanks for watching.